is I want to thank the, the people of McMinnville, especially uh, right here today, and a great friend of mine is Jim Bernal and Meg Murray of the Willamette Valley Vineyard Wine Center, and all the business owners of this wonderful, historic downtown area for hosting us today. In a few minutes, I will sign Executive Order 1001, the first executive order of this year. The task force created in 2007 came up with many important recommendations for preserving historic buildings and revitalizing downtown areas. So today's signing is just one piece of a larger plan to preserve and utilize Oregon's great architectural heritage. When I was in the legislature, I represented, as I told you earlier, towns like Elkton, Drain, Junction City. I'm a big believer in our cities and towns throughout this state. This is, we are part of Oregon, and this is what makes Oregon, Oregon. From Jacksonville to McMinnville, and from Astoria to Baker City, the unique character of Oregon's people and places shines through, through their local communities. But smaller communities are not just about who we are as a people. They are absolutely critical to our economy. This is especially true for Main Street, commercial districts like beautiful Third Street here in McMinnville. Whenever I get the chance to stroll through one of our historic downtowns, as I'll be doing again today shortly, I appreciate all over again what they mean to Oregonians. I'm talking about the great architecture and craftsmanship of past generations, the sense of community that comes from shopping at longtime local businessmen and businesswomen, and recognizing the next generation of entrepreneurs who bring renewed vitality to older buildings. McMinnville is a perfect example this historic Third Street business district is comfortable and welcoming for visitors. But it is also a hub of commerce and an important source of jobs for many people who live here in McMinnville. Through the Oregon Main Street program, which is managed by our State Historic Preservation Office, we are partnering with local communities to rebuild downtowns, not just as tourist attractions, but as centers of commerce and government. Today we take another step towards strengthening Oregon's historic downtowns by bringing people downtown, creating more foot traffic for local businesses and preserving existing buildings. To accomplish these goals, I am signing Executive Order 1001 directing all state agencies to first consider historic downtowns when locating or relocating their offices. Some agencies will find an actual historic building. Others will find a good home in a newer building adjacent to a downtown district. Both options are encouraged by this executive order. By locating state offices downtown, we can accomplish a number of economic, cultural, and environmental goals. First, we will help support local businesses, one of the cornerstones of this state's economy. Downtown shops and restaurants benefit tremendously from the support of nearby workers. Implementing the executive order will bring more state employees into downtown historic districts as customers. Second, downtowns are walkable, so state workers will be able to patronize local businesses without driving. This will reduce congestion and emissions and, equally important, promote exercise. Third, when we reuse historic buildings, we preserve their landmark qualities for the next generation. Historic buildings are non-renewable resources that should be conserved just as passionately as we conserve our natural resources. Fourth, putting old buildings to new uses is the ultimate in recycling. Demolition is wasteful and environmentally unsound. Our landfills are already beyond capacity. If it makes sense to recycle soda cans and newspapers, it makes even greater sense and great public policy 
to reuse entire buildings and keep them out of the waste stream. Finally, locating state offices downtown will help prevent sprawl. Downtowns have an infrastructure in place. We don't need to build new office buildings in farmlands, forests, and open spaces we have worked so hard to preserve. Maintaining attractive and vibrant towns and cities and preserving their history has always been part of our character. Today, we add a new way of making it part of the mission of state government. I thank you all very, very much for being here. Now, I'm going to sign uh, Executive Order 1001. And then